So let's see how we work with Prolog on the Mac. So the first thing we need to do is download SWI Prolog. So we'll go to swiprolog.org and we'll click the download link, SWI Prolog, stable release, and then the Macintosh version. Make sure you click on the correct version for your particular operating system. In this case, we're installing it on an Intel Mac, so we'll choose that. And we do want to allow that to take place. And so now that's downloading. So now that it's completed downloading, I can click on downloads and then the disk image for SWI Prolog. It'll take a few minutes for that to open up. So you'll see in a zip there, it gives you a shortcut to your applications folder. So I'm going to double click on that to open up the applications folder. And then I'm going to create a new folder for Prolog. And then I'll copy the SWI Prolog program files into that folder. So I'm done with this and I'll move this over here. So now if I double click on SWI Prolog and then I can double click on the icon to open the application. So you'll notice we get a warning here and that's just because it's not a, a verified developer. So I'm going to cancel and then what I can do is control click SWI Prolog and then say open. And now I have the option to open it and you can see now it opens. And now that actually saves an exception. So now the next time I double click it, you can see that SWI Prolog opens without the warning. So the next thing I wanna do is edit a Prolog file. And for this, you can use any editor you want. I prefer to use MacVim, that's just my preference. So I'll zoom in the font there a little bit. So let's write some Prolog facts. So then once I'm done editing my file, I need to save it somewhere. And it's up to you where you save it. But I would recommend having some folder specifically for your code in your personal directory. So I'm going to call this code. And again, you can call it whatever you want. Then I'm going to give it the name setup.pl. And the PL extension is important. That indicates that it's a prolog file. Now, on some systems, you may have Perl installed. And so that also uses a .pl. But again, it doesn't make too big of a difference what you name it because you can consult it directly from SWI Prolog. So now we need to tell SWI Prolog to consult the Prolog file we just wrote. That'll allow it to load it into memory so that we can work with it. You'll notice the path is tilde slash code slash setup.pl. So I can consult tilde slash code slash setup.pl. Now I could say language X and it's going to give me my options. Now, another thing I could do is, let's suppose I want to add C++ as a language. And now I've saved it, but I need to consult it first, because if I just say language CPP, it's going to say false. So now what I'll need to do is consult. And one thing that's nice is SWI Prolog has command recall where you can use the up arrow key to see what you've done previously. I can consult it. And now when I say language CPP, we get true. So that's a quick overview of how to use macOS to work with SWI Prolog.